Welcome back to Living in Wait. This past Monday, the Outrigger Reef Hotel's Kanekapila Grill threw a big party celebrating its 15th anniversary, and we were there for all the action. Outrigger Reef with the Director of Cultural Experience, Auntie Luana. Aloha. Hi, Aloha. And we're here for a very fun evening. It is the 15th anniversary of Kanakapila Grill. How exciting is this? Uh, I mean, it's a blessing that people are coming to listen to such wonderful Hawaiian music, mm -hmm. and not just our locals that love it, but our visitors, you know, they're coming back, they're enjoying the music, and they'll come back again. Now, it's the 15th anniversary of Kanakapila. It's really special, so can you tell us all about it? When we first started um, to think about what type of music we'd want to have here at Kanakapila Grill, it was a no-brainer that it'd be Hawaiian music. Mm -hmm. And, um, and the opportunity to have Uncle Cyril Pahinui be a part of the team to make that decision, actually get his blessing, to use Kanikapila as we name the restaurant after it, uh, because that's what they would do back home in Waimanalo. Just everybody would gather in Gabby Pahinui's backyard and jam. And that's what we wanted. We wanted that kind of concept to bring the country to Waikiki so that our visitors can enjoy that type of music. What we found out throughout the years that the locals started to come as well because they don't really hear unless you're going to a concert. Um, their families who, and friends who are visiting can come and enjoy the music seven days a week. Seven nights from six to nine, there's the best Hawaiian music here at Kanikapila Grill. A great time here at the Outrigger Reef at the 15th annual Connie Kapila. And of course, one of the amazing performers is the very popular, very well known, astounding oh, Bobby Madero. Oh, oh, stop. Oh, stop, Kelly. <laughs> it's an honor to be here. Thinking of 15 years, mm -hmm. anything. I mean, 15 years, anything is amazing. To do it or live it or be married or even. What happens within the span of 15 years, even just the past 15 years? We lived through this beautiful craziness that we did live through, what happened to be the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Here we are at Kanikapila Grill, celebrating nothing more than the culture of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Living through this beautiful platform that is aloha, through music. And we need more of this. Mm -hmm. We need so much more of this. I've been performing here for many, many years, and it's an honor to be a part of this beautiful celebration of 15 years. And what do you think is the highlight? What's really special about it to you, or what do you look forward to every year? You know, to me, it's definitely the sharing of aloha, the, the way that our fabric of Hawaii, the community of Hawaii, is based upon music. It really is. And what we try to do is we try to give people that experience of what it would be like partying Waimanalo, just Kani Kapila. Yeah, getting together and jam. This is the window into our culture, and people come here to be a part of that. They get the aloha into their heart, and they take it home with them, and the world needs a lot more of two things, and that's Hawaiian music and aloha. Mm -hmm. They get it here. As they say, Kani Kapila in the old Hawaiian way. Right? You know, <laughs> and, and we need more of that. We need that um, getting together. At the end of the day, you know, back in the day, you, you, you go in the backyard, you know, your friends come over, you have a couple of beers, you get the dogs running around, the kids running around. The music creeps in, mm -hmm. and you share your music with me, my music with you. All of a sudden, we become closer as a family. And it doesn't matter what ethnicity you are, where you come from, what color your skin is. It doesn't matter. It's all about the music. Mm -hmm. And I love that so much about Hawaii, being that melting pot of not only culture, but the music. And we need so much more of that. Definitely. And speaking of, you can get so much more of that. He does perform at Outrigger Properties, so make sure you check him out. Where can people follow you online? Um, kind of everywhere and anywhere. You know, IG, uh, Facebook, Bobby Modero, Junior, Mauna Lua, my band Mauna Lua. Perfect. And we'll have all of your <laughs> links, of course, okay. to follow him. And then also everything you need to know to get in touch with Outrigger because they're doing awesome things, really keeping Hawaiian music and culture alive, which we love to see. So. Outrigger Resorts, the most Hawaiian experience you're going to get in Hawaii today. Yeah, absolutely. Love that. All right, back to the studio. Good luck tonight. Thanks, honey. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Aloha. Good fun. I love him. Yeah, he no, has the, the best energy. Yeah, he's the greatest. Uh.
Awesome. And it was such a fun event. I mean, mm -hmm. there was incredible food, great drinks, as you can see. Kimie performed as well. Nice. There was yep. just beautiful music and a, and a really great time. And since then, big news. Yeah, it, ha it was announced at that event that Cirque du Soleil is going to be coming. I think that's great. Yeah, yeah, and so that's super neat. It's, I believe, the end of 2024. Four. So it's a little bit of ways away, but it's not just coming for, you know, a couple weeks. Yeah, it's, no. It's years here. long contract. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting that we're going to be getting this huge performance and a, and a really great show that everyone's going to be able to enjoy for, for years to come. Yeah, a little exciting. bit of Vegas coming to Honolulu. Love that. And